The purpose of this tutorial is to help you understand what a primary source is and how to identify primary source articles in the chemistry literature. Most scientists officially communicate the results of their research by publishing scientific journal articles. These are often referred to as the primary literature. These articles represent first-hand accounts of research that were done by the authors. Why are we interested in reading primary sources? Scientific journal articles are where scientists present the results of research that they did. Their research was done to try and answer a specific question. The results of the research may be interpreted by the scientists to help explain a phenomenon, to develop a new theory about how something works, or to present new data to support or contradict previous research. The research is presented within the context of the larger picture of other work done in the same field of study. Scientists provide detailed information about how their research was done and what data was collected. This information allows others to try and replicate the research to confirm findings. Scientific articles are published after peer review. Peer review evaluates the quality of the research according to professional standards. If you are just learning out how to identify and read scientific articles, there are some visual cues you can use to help you confirm that an article is a primary source. For example, did the authors write about their own work? Do they describe the methods they used in exacting detail? Let's look at an example. When we start reading this article, we can see wording that indicates that the authors of the paper are the same ones who did the research. For example, these authors use the words we describe and we primarily assessed. This indicates that the authors are describing their own research. In this section of the article, we see the authors describe how they performed their research. They included a schematic diagram to explain the process that they used. Are detailed results given in the article? Are the results explained relative to previous research? In this section of the article, the authors explain the results. They provide data in the text as well as information in a graphic form. Note also that relationship that the authors draw to other research previously done by other scientists. These citations are indicated by the superscript numbers. Is there a li list of references that were cited in the text? The authors list all of the references that they cited in the text. Note that the references are formatted in ACS style. Because you have already watched the tutorial on citations, you should be able to understand how to read these. Sometimes it can be tricky to identify if something is a primary source, especially if the topic of the article is very technical or if the article was published in a scientific journal. Let's look at an example. This article is from a scientific journal which publishes many primary source articles. But this article is different. By looking closely, we can see that the authors are writing a review article. They use words like, herein we review, and in this review we focus on. A review article is an article that summarizes the current state of understanding on a topic. It summarizes previously published material rather than reporting new facts. Review articles are sometimes also called survey articles. They are secondary sources because they are not providing first-hand observations or analyses. Because a review article is summarizing research on a topic, it will have many cited references. This particular review article had 267 references. That is normal for a review article but would be abnormal for a primary source article. In summary, keep these points in mind. Who wrote the article? Is it by the researchers who did the research? 
are the methods used in the research described in detail. Are the results presented, often in tabular or graphic form? Is there a discussion of the results which puts the research in context? Thank you for watching this tutorial.